Hello, this is Hussam Horani, and today we'll talk uh, about dimension reduction, and we will um, explain the TSME, BCA, and MDA, how to use them, and what's the purpose uh, of these three uh, algorithms. Before I show you the example, let's just quickly uh, um, go through these three uh, algorithms. So we have the TSNE, which is, uh, stands for T Distributed Stochastic Neighbor Embedding. It is two dimensional data projection and it's used to expose clustering structure. The second one is the MDS, stands for Multi Dimensional Scaling, and it's used uh, when global relationship matters. Uh, and the final one is the BCA, Principal Component Analysis. This is a linear transformation of input data and used as a pre-processing technique to reduce dimensionality and remove a noise. Let me uh, take you into a simple example. So I will grab the file and I will use Iris dataset. I will use Iris dataset and uh, we have four features. And the last one, I will keep it as feature, not as a target, because as you know that uh, for uh, dimension reduction and for unsupervised learning, we don't have output, we, do, we don't have targets, but I will keep the iris uh, uh, as feature to show you the colors of the clusters only, but you can eliminate it anyway if you want. This is the uh, first thing. So uh, as you can see, we have from data table, uh, you can view the data. We have uh, all these uh, five now uh, features for Iris. We have 150 records. Uh, and uh, to, now what we need to do is to use <coughs> first thing the TSNE, the TSNE, TSNE. Uh, if you double click, you will see that we have three clusters as as you can see. Now you can control some uh, some. Um, some parts here, for example, you can make this 20 and you can uh, have just only three uh, principal components and you click on start. As you can see, you have these clusters. You can increase it into 40, okay? And click start and you will see these clusters. Uh, you can have whatever you want as these uh, options. You can change it, you can play with them to see how the TSNE works. So you can also show the colors of the regions. So this is the regions for the Verzi color, and this is the Virginica, and this is the Stoza. This is for the TSNE. It, it, it does the clustering smoothly and easily by controlling these parameters. This is the first one. The second one is the MD, uh, is uh, let's MDS, MDS, okay. And through MDS, you can double click and you can see that it automatically figured out the um, the clusters so we have three clusters you can use optimize uh, by using bca or randomize if you want click randomize and start as you can see it reshape itself into these three uh, clusters uh, you can also uh, do the jitter uh, and you click start to identify the clusters these are the clusters for the iris dataset i use iris dataset you know because it's very simple uh, to understand but if you have real data uh, use it try to play with the options uh, use different options all together to uh, see how the clusters works in the uh, orange data mining the last one is the bca bca this is the bca okay and from bca you can choose uh, how many components uh, you need to have. For example, we have here three components and 96% uh, of the variance is covered. So you, you can show this by going into scatter plot. Okay. And these are the three, uh, you, uh, three uh, uh, clusters. You can have it be between BCA uh, one and three. Uh, you can also optimize this by see which is the most uh, or has higher value higher scores you can see from here you can click into bc1 bc2 for example bc2 with civil width uh, bc1 bc3 etc so you can navigate between all these clusters uh, and you can choose whatever you want and focus on the data that is related to this cluster so this is also the bca so we covered uh, 
the three of them TSNE, MDS, and DCA. This is uh, the lesson for today. I hope that you enjoyed it, and we will continue uh, our next two lessons also in dimension reductions. We will have uh, more algorithms and more ideas to implement. We'll see you in our next next lesson.